Hi and welcome to a new video. If you own several Apple devices like an iPhone or iPad, it's a good idea to change the name of every single device to a name you can remember. In this video, I'll show you how to do that so you can easily manage all your devices and how to also change your Apple ID name. Let's go! After setting up an iPhone or iPad, the device name is set to just iPhone or iPad by default. If you have multiple Apple devices, giving them unique names can help you better distinguish between devices. To give an explanation, there are two names on an iPhone or iPad. The first is the name that you use for your Apple ID, which is seen when you open Settings on your device. It is mostly just your name if you entered your full name when you created your Apple ID. This name is also synced between your devices. The second name is the device name, which you saw earlier. As you can see here, these are the connected devices to my iCloud account, and I can identify them with their own device name. To give more information, the device name appears on other people's devices. When you share files through AirDrop, the device name appears here, or when someone connects to your personal hotspot. It will also be seen across other services, for example Bluetooth, or when you create local backups on iTunes. The device name is also shown on the Find My app, which is used to track the devices that are connected to your Apple ID. To change the device name of your iPhone or iPad, open Settings. Then scroll down to General. Now select About and then tap on Name and type in the new name of your device. Hit Done on your keyboard to confirm the change. It is recommended that you don't use your real name as your device name to protect your identity. After changing the device name, the name listed under iCloud Connected Devices will also be updated. But it may take up to an hour before the change appears on the list of connected devices on your iPhone and on other devices as well. To change the name on your Apple ID, go back to the top. Then tap on Name Phone Numbers Email. Click on the Name at the top and enter the first and last name that you want. Tap Save at the top right corner once you're done. This will be your new Apple ID name and is synced between your different devices. This name is private so only you can see this name and that's why you can use your real name. Changing your device name will not only help you to better manage your devices, but can also protect your identity, so that when you are out in public and your airdrop sharing is open to everyone, or your Bluetooth and personal hotspot is turned on, they will only see your device name and not your real name. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.